Let's see where she is today. Hey, Britt. Hey guys, how are you? I came to a spot where I've been coming, gosh, for years, and race trackers, locals love it. This is Fidel's Little Mexico, bringing authentic cuisine from south of the border. But it's interesting when you frequent a place but don't really know the history about it. So I had the opportunity to speak with Mark, who's the son of Fidel Montanez, who actually created Fidel's Little Mexico, and he gave us a little bit of a, a tour of the entire spot. It's really uniquely built, and that's because this started as a barber shop. So Fidel Montanez was a barber and his wife would come and bring him delicious burritos because he would get hungry on his taste. And so his friends would tell him, you know what, you should probably sell these burritos. But as most gentlemen want, they want to have a cantina. So the barber shop then turned into a cantina and it spread from there. But what I found even more interesting was that the family used to live on this property. So he gave us a tour through the entire restaurant. And he said, this is where my room used to be. Up top is where my parents used to live. I played basketball down here. And how it has grown over the years, you can just tell that there is so much love and passion behind this because it is a true family business. So I'm going to take you guys inside. I know we have racing at Delaware because I have to showcase the food because that's the best part. Delicious food. But what you're going to see here is kind of how it all started with what I was talking about. It began as a barber shop. So little placard on the wall of a great article about Fidel Montanez and the barber shop just to the right of it. And then the cantina is what began to this side. And then the rest of the restaurant just kind of evolved. So you can see the bar here and just to the right of the bar, they've got, well, TVG on. So you're going to catch, you're going to catch our camera right there and some delicious food. This place gets really, really busy every night as Matt, I'm sure. So I took your recommendation and got the super chicken quesadilla right here to my left. But this is a lunch special that they have have going Monday through Friday and a recommendation thanks to Bob Baffert. This is the chicken enchilada with green tomatillo sauce. He says that he has been ordering this for the past 20 years, comes here once a week. And actually back in 1998, he met Bob Hope here. He said it was after Real Quiet Sturvey and Bob Hope's wife's sister said to him, oh my gosh, that's Bob Baffert. He said, oh my gosh, that's Bob Hope. So some great stories here. People have been coming here for many, many years. Years, as you guys were already talking about. And they don't just come for the delicious food. It's the camaraderie. Your temp you're usually going to see somebody you know, but it really is a family atmosphere. And that's what I've noticed just from coming here for the past five minutes of lunchtime, but just for many, many years, my family coming here. Matt, I'm sure you feel the same. It's, there's something special about Fidel's Little Mexico. Yeah, and you have, you have the huge outdoor patio there, too. I mean, you, you said they used to live there. I mean, the place is massive. Yeah. It is a huge restaurant. And it's absolutely packed, as you can imagine, during the racing season in particular, Wednesday mm -hmm. through Sunday night. And the food is delicious. Yeah, I had kind of had a brush with greatness there a couple of years ago, guys. You said Bob Baffert ran into Bob Hope there in 1998. I was there a couple of years mm -hmm. ago, Brittany. And Steve Kerr, who likes to go to the racetrack, he was outside with some friends having some drinks, head coach of the Golden State Warriors, coming off the uh, NBA championship mm -hmm. season. And my wife, Ren's like, you got to go out there and talk to Steve Kerr. I'm like, that's not, no, I'm not going to leave him alone. So she talked me and I went out there. We talked to Steve Kerr. He couldn't have been nicer having a good time at Fidel. So, uh, so plain folk like me and you, Dave, oh, and it. big celebrities like Bob Hope and Steve Kerr, everyone goes to Fidel's. Brittany, the non-alcoholic mm -hmm. margaritas are it really good. It brings them all together. So, guys, <laughs> I'm starving. I'm going to take a bite of uh, all of this. And don't worry. We had the margarita be made. It's a virgin margarita because sure. I know I have to work today. Brittany, my dish is better than Bob's. This, they're both great, but you, you'll prefer well, the dish that I go over backwards. We shall see. Okay. All right. Taste, okay. taste test. I'm not so they're, going they're, in they're it with any you know, partiality here. Man, that looks good. Oh, it's just... Look, look at the rice and beans. And 